Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, I will make this video answering some text and I will make the second video continuing uh, our serious topic because you know answering people in text making video uh, you know it's endless. Anyway, there's a guy in here saying son of Canaan. This guy is fool which means he is talking about me. Of course God is not going to be specific with the scriptures just like isn't it in your Bible where it says in Genesis 3 3 15 that God will put the enmity between the spent uh, spent of uh, uh, and the seed of uh, women do uh, but do women have seed uh, you know uh, we, first we are not the one who is saying that uh, we take uh, the words of God in an illiterate way it is you as a Muslim who say that when you make a video and you name the video the following miracles you see you can go and see all the videos you know miracles when you name them miracles it's mean they are miracles it's mean they are illiterate and when you explain those words in a very illiterate way it's mean you are the one who is making it them illiterate way not me so you don't come to me and blame me for what what you do when we expose your lies you cry, you say, of course God is not saying that. Well, uh, go and answer the Muslims. What about you, sir, yourself as a Muslim? Go to those Muslims who they are making those words and take it in a literate way. Tell them, you know, you guys are a bunch of fools. Say that to the Muslims, not to me. I'm answering them. I'm exposing their lies. This is number one. Number two, you don't explain my Bible to me. And the women, she have seeds. In here, the word seed, it doesn't mean sperm, sir. But I can show you from your Quran that the women, the women have a sperm. Do you want to show you? And here the seed of the women, it's been her kids. According to the Jewish tradition, the sons goes by their mother, which means if you are a son of a Jewish man, it doesn't mean necessarily you are will be, will be considered from the, from the Israeli nation. You have to be the son of a Jewish woman. So in here the verse when they are talking about the seed of the women, it's mean how and you belong to who according to the tradition of the Jewish. The kids of that women, they are the seed of that women, not the sperm. So don't go far with your imagination. But I like your imagination. Now how you will explain to me your Quran saying it clearly that the women she have a sperm. And the sperm of the man is coming between the, his, you know, his, 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 his ribs and his backbone. According to your prophet and uh, your scholars' explanation, they are saying that the, 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 the sperm of the man is coming even from his brain. And some of them they are saying, according to the prophet, it's from his hand. You know, if it's your hand, you will be you, you, you better use your finger when you have sex with your wife not your private part because as you see the sperm is coming from there now this is your Islamic website this is your translation I'm not going to translate to you because I know if I translate you will say you see he's changing word doesn't mean like that let us read your God saying it clearly now let man but think from what he is created he is created from a drop emitted proceeding from between the back bone and the ribs do you see it so according to the science of Allah in this verse and here many, many many people don't understand yet this verse is not talking about only the man by the way it's talking about the man and the women and how I'm not going to explain I will go to the explanation made by the biggest scholars of Islam and we will take what they say and here he's saying something very stupid, extremely stupid, that the sperm of the man is coming from the between, the man and the woman actually, from between the backbone and the ribs. And the ribs, do you see the word ribs? Don't tell me this is my translation. Don't tell me I am changing the words because I know you. You are a Muslim. And a Muslim is a Muslim. Now if we go to the explanation of the verse, we will see the following. And this is again not my explanation. This is Tafsir ibn Abbas. Read with your own eyes. That issued, which means the sperm, 
issued from between the lions, lions of the man and the ribs of the women. Do you see it? I did not explain, I did not translate, I did not do anything, I'm just reading. So according to your God Allah, the women have a sperm and the sperm is coming from her ribs. And the, the, the sperm of the man is coming from his back bones, not from his balls. You see the science of Allah? Now this is Ibn Kathir, just to show you guys how we prove our point. We are, we are not the same as Muslims. This is their Islamic website, this is their Imam Ibn Kathir, and we will read what Ibn Kathir is saying, and we will accept what he is saying, as a proof of what he is talking about. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that's come of bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus, the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Continue reading. Producing from between them the backbones and the ribs, meaning the backbones or lions, or however you say it, of the man and the ribs of the woman. Which is referring to her chest, mashallah, brother. Say, mashallah. Your wife, she have a sperm, and her sperm is coming from her chest. Cool. You see, this is not my translation, not my explanation. Continue reading. Proceeding from between the backbones and the ribs, the backbone of the man is, uh, uh, and and the ribs of the woman. It is the fluid is yellow. Your prophet said that. Listen, the fluid is yellow. The fluid of the women is yellow and fine in texture. Do you see it? So according to your prophet, his genius, his genius, the women she have a yellow sperm, and this is what is creating the baby. Hello. I'm sure you will say you are a liar, it doesn't say that. So let man consider from what he is created. He is created from a gushing fluid. Yeah. So did you hear? This is big time translation. Change any translation. And now I will be waiting for your majesty with your genius smartness to tell me what your God Allah is saying. A gushing fluid is coming from between the ribs and the backbones. And by the way, in here, this word is not, uh, this is not, 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 uh, not uh, honest uh, translation. Simply because it says the backbone, the backbone. So at the end, as you see, with having Ibn Kathir explanation, a Jalalain explanation, Ibn Abbas explanation, and they are all the top of the scholars of Islam, and all of them, they are saying, the Prophet, he said, that the women, she have a yellow sperm, her water is yellow and this is the sperm and he is saying that Allah he created the man and the women from the water of the man and the women and I will post the link next to the to, to the video so you can read and in here I want you to concentrate because I know Muslims still can play games proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women the ribs of the women it is the fluid it's yellow the women have a fluid and it's yellow and fine texture the child will not burn except from both of them which means from both fluid what is the fluid of the women is the yellow water Muhammad because he's so expert with sex he have a lot of women in his bed so always he see the women when you know excuse my language when they get wet they have a yellow water so he think or he thought okay I have a white one, she have a yellow one, and this is how we can have kids. Brother, Muslims, say mashallah, because this is all what you are good about. Mashallah, subhanallah, la 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 la, ashadu la la ha ha ha, and death to America, right? But when it's come to your religion, you have no idea what is written in your book. Jesus is Lord. Islam made by a fool for the fool. Follow with me.